Hey, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I have a fun challenge. I was actually tagged by Nija J. And the challenge today is called the Accent Challenge. So stay tuned for that. Hey family and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So the accent challenge. There are 13 questions that I need to go ahead and answer. And of course, I am going to tag Audrea Tuka. I cannot wait to hear her answer these questions because she already has an accent. So without further ado, let's go ahead with the first question. The first question is, what is my name and my username? So my name is Marshawn Barr, which some of you guys know. And my user username is I Love Me Me Me, which all of you guys should know that by now. So that's question number one. Question number two, where are you from? I am from Youngstown, Ohio, here in the States. The third question is a lot of words that they want me to pronounce, hence the accent challenge. So the first word is aunt. The second word is roof. The third word is route, theater, iron, salmon, <laughs> caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pajamas, cot, naturally, aluminum, gif, that's G-I-F, tumbler, cracker jack, doorknob, envelope, and G-P-O-Y. I don't even know what that is. So those are all the words that they want me to pronounce. I cannot wait to hear the other people because I know this is where the accents are going to come into play. Now, the fourth question is, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Actually, I don't remember what that word is. Uh, I think it's toilet paper in a house. That's not what it's called, but I, I forgot what it's called, actually. So we're going to move on. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? So I grew up calling that a pop. <laughs> but then when I moved to the south, they called it a soda. So I think I actually go back and forth in between soda and pop. And I think I mainly call it a soda nowadays. I, I'm pretty sure I usually call it a soda. But sometimes I do call it pop as well. So I don't know if you can hear my fiance in the background. I asked him to do this challenge with me, but he don't want to be on camera. So it's okay. But yeah, so if you can hear him in the background, that's who's speaking. All right. So num <laughs> number six, what do you call gym shoes? I call gym shoes tennis shoes. Number seven, what do you call your grandparents? Uh, grandma. I never knew my grandfather, so I just say grandma. Number eight, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? Really? A cart? <laughs> Is that what they're talking about? The cart? The shopping cart? That's what I call it, the shopping cart. Uh, number nine, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? The remote. Okay. Uh, number 10, choose a book and read a passage. Uh, let's, oh, you know what? I do got a book. Hold on. So the book that I'm going to choose to read a passage from is Modern Romance by Aziz. And actually, I'm going to do a book review on this one because this book is very interesting. Doesn't matter where I turn the page to. Let's see. With the rise of smartphones, social media, and the internet, young Kateris are usually, <laughs> can't speak, are using technology to flout these repressive rules. For instance, socializing with the opposite sex in public is not allowed. So, so Kataris are using the internet to organize small private parties in hotel rooms. One of the young women we, we met told us that hotels are a big part of Qatari culture because that's where you find bars and restaurants and these days it's not uncommon to receive a group message that tells people who know one another to meet in a certain room once they arrive in the hotel lobby the the cover provided by the females burkas allows them to wander in anonymously and go wherever they need to go by blending something old the burqa and something new the internet Qatari youth have created their own novel way to connect now that was actually interesting and i remember what they're talking about but for this challenge it doesn't matter i read my passage number 11 do you think you have an accent uh i don't think that i do but i i do hear that i do have an accent from other people so i've lived in several different uh cities around the u.s so i'm sure that i picked up 
some of my southernness and then some Cali words and even some Ohioan stuff. So it's all mixed together for me. Sometimes I do have an accent and I do hear in some of the words that I say, but overall, no. He's so sweet, ain't he? He's so sweet. Number 13, end the audio post by saying three words you want. See you later. <laughs>